Good afternoon, and welcome to East Pauley Middle School's sixth grade awards day ceremony. It is always an honor to invite parents, grandparents, extended family, and friends of our students to our building as we bring closure to each school year. But this year, we hope you are joining us through our first ever live stream awards day. While this format may not be ideal, we can certainly be thankful that our students, teachers, and staff members are here together as we conclude the 2020-2021 school year. Each year we use this time to celebrate students' accomplishments, and this year the accomplishments and milestones attained should be celebrated more than ever. Our students and teachers begin the school year with a lot of uncertainties. The most significant being would we be able to remain in school throughout the entire year. Today, we can be proud because our students, teachers, and community work together to help us remain in school throughout the year, and I am humbled by the sacrifices that we all made to help us meet that goal. Each year, I want to remind students that everyone's individual accomplishments are different. Today, some of you will receive an honor, an honor, I'm sorry, an honor roll award or an individual award. But just because you may not earn a title certificate of achievement does not mean that you have not accomplished something great. Some students must work extremely hard to obtain all passing grades. That is a great accomplishment and it should be celebrated. Some students give everything you have and still fall short sometimes. But just because you fall short, it doesn't mean that you have failed. It means that you use this experience as an opportunity to keep going, to push forward, and find a way to overcome the challenges that may have caused you to fall short. The value of that failure will only become evident once you finally reach success. As we have learned during this entire experience, life will undoubtedly bring many challenges and obstacles. Some we will overcome on our own with ease. Others will take an extended effort and probably a team to help us through it. Whatever your future holds, what you have accomplished this year is amazing, and you should be proud knowing that you have grown stronger and more resilient. Congratulations to all of our sixth grade students for all that you have accomplished this year. At this time, I'm going to invite Ms. Me Ms. Nikki McElroy to come up and present our PE and Connections Awards. Teachers, we are so excited to be celebrating with you today. And those of you who are joining us via live stream, we are thrilled to honor some of your students today. Um, each of our connections and PE coaches have chosen different students to honor today, and we want to celebrate their just their achievements. So as we get started, we're going to go in a just a random order. I just didn't. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's been one of those days. It's been a long day for all of us. So we're going to get started with Miss Kennedy's visual arts class. She wants to recognize two students today, Ariana Manning. <laughs> Natalia Pardita Camarena. Mr. C.W. had a prior engagement, so we enlisted Miss Barry Brown to help us out. Many of you have met her. She's part of the family around here in East. She's been here almost as long as I have. So um, she's going to step in for Mr. C.W. for our Computer Science Awards. We have Carly Christ. <laughs> and Jacob Krivenek. In Ms. Wood's Family and Consumer Science classes, she wants to recognize two students for outstanding achievement, Liana Stalins <laughs> and 
and Emily Tribbiani. In sixth grade, as part of our connections uh, rotation, we also have a, a Spanish, it's more Spanish class that talks about the different cultures and learning the different words that allow us to interact within the, that culture. And so the two students that Ms. Dyra would like to recognize, the first is Kane Doherty. <laughs> and Kaylee Harrison. In Ms. Simmons' Readings Connections classes, she wants to recognize two students. The first is Jackson Jones. <laughs> and Gabriel Merrick. One of the benefits of being in the fine arts classes is that we get to recognize students who uh, are outstanding at our concerts in the spring, but we also get to recognize students who go above and beyond here at awards day. Band, sixth grade outstanding musicians, Alana Hamilton. <laughs> and Blake Hunter. In chorus, we have a Kylie Love. <laughs> and Brindley Richardson. Our sixth grade virtual class that was this semester only, we have a student we want to recognize for his over, going over and above. He just really shined more than any other student. That's Ivan Vargas. He couldn't make it today, but we will make sure he gets that award. For our PE classes, we have two new PE coaches this year who have certainly raised the bar, raised the standard in our PE classes this year. Um, and so, um, I'm not sure how they figured that out, but they did. So we're going to start with uh, Coach Kent's PE class. She wants to recognize several students. Dame Diamande. <laughs> Brayden Harpoo. And Travis Hubert. In Coach Lawrence's class, he would like to recognize Madison Cartmel. And Mason Wall. And finally, certainly last but not least, we have Coach Norton, uh, who wants to recognize two students. We have Gabriel Miles. <laughs> and Mateo Pigo. <laughs> Let's give all of these students a big round of applause. As your Connections and PE teachers, we are so pleased to be able to work with you each day and we look forward to seeing you in the fall. And we're going to turn it over to Mr. Masterson at this time.
Thank you, Miss McElroy, for that wonderful presentation. You always do a great job. Always tough to follow up. Parents and grandparents and those visiting on YouTube. My name is Mr. Masterson. I am a sixth grade teacher here. And I'm going to be giving the presentations for all of our content areas and some others. So when I call your name on, come on up. We're going to get right to it. Our sixth grade ELA and AB honor roll, Caleb Adair. <laughs> AB honor roll, Yeshua Adiami. Sixth grade virtual math, ELA, and our principal's honor roll, Anu Ajay. <laughs> Social studies in all A honor roll, Cooper Allen. <laughs> AB honor roll, Bailey Altman. AB honor roll, Jenna Alsaki. AB honor roll, Kellen Anderson. All A honor roll, Brooklyn Arendelle. Highest growth on our map inventory, Pablo Arellano. <laughs> AB honor roll, Isabella Aravallo. <laughs> AB honor roll, Seth Bailey. A.B. Honor Roll, Carson Baker. A.B. Honor Roll, Jada Baker. Principal's Honor Roll, Easton Barron. All A. Honor Roll, Brindley Baxter. Sixth grade math award, Bradley Beach Allen. AB honor roll, Jocelyn Perez Benitez. Wonderful job, Jocelyn. Congratulations. All A honor roll, Caitlin Berryhill. All A honor roll, Dennis Morris Blankenship. AB honor roll, Samara Broadwater. Principal's honor roll, Lily Brocious. A.B. Honor Roll, Kylie Callison. A.B. Honor Roll, Aiden Carrillo. Science in A.B. Honor Roll, Madison Cartmel. Social Studies and AB Honor Roll, Tina Chen. <laughs> ELA and Principals Honor Roll, Carly Christ. <laughs> Principals Honor Roll, Evelyn Coffey.
Evelyn, thank you for always holding the door for us teachers after our duty. We appreciate that very, very much. The highest growth in MI, AB Honor Roll, Cordy Collier. <laughs> Math and All A Honor Roll, Corinda Condry. AB Honor Roll, Madison Cooper. A.B. Honor Roll, Christopher Crew. <laughs> Math and A.B. Honor Roll, Erica Criswell. <laughs> A.B. Honor Roll, Kane Doherty. A.B. Honor Roll, Hunter Diller. A.B. <laughs> Honor Roll, Dane Diamande. <laughs> Dane, I like your crops. That's a pretty cool name. A.B. Honor Roll, Landon Dollar. <laughs> Principals Honor Roll, Gavin Donlin. A.B. <laughs> Honor Roll, Joseph Dorrell. A.B. Honor Roll, Bracey Das. <laughs> Our highest growth in the math inventory, our math award, A.B. Honor Roll, Scarlett Duran. <laughs> A.B. Honor Roll, Camden Durio. All A Honor Roll, Andrew Dyer. <laughs> Bowen Dyer. A B Honor Roll, Jacob Eckhart. A B Honor Roll, Jonathan Edwards. Social Studies and Principals Honor Roll, Vicki Ipima. <laughs> A.B. Honor Roll, Malcolm Elston. All A. Honor Roll, Evelyn Embury. A.B. Honor Roll, Maylee Irvin. A.B. <laughs> Honor Roll, Samira Ezer. A.B. <laughs> Honor Roll, Paul Fisher. A.B. Honor Roll, Jessalyn Fitcher. A.B. Honor Roll, Lauren Frega. <laughs> Math Award and Principals Honor Roll, Ava Friedman. A.B. Honor Roll and Math Award, Kendra Fridley.
A.B. Honor Roll, Kenneth Froman. A.B. Honor Roll, Briley Furness. Principal's Honor Roll, Sheridan Gable. A.B. Honor Roll, Addison Geiger. Our sixth grade virtual math to Noah Gill. Thanks for coming in, Noah. A.B. Honor Roll, William Gravitt. A.B. Honor Roll, Madison Grimes. Principal's Honor Roll, Alyssa Gurley. Social Studies and Principal's Honor Roll, Brianna Gutierrez. Principal's Honor Roll, Alana Hamilton. A.B. Honor Roll, Kylie Hamilton. <laughs> Principal's Honor Roll and one of our few star student of sixth grade, Ethan Hammond. <laughs> A.B. Honor Roll, Azaria Hampton. Don't be so shocked. You did the work there, girl. Congratulations. A.B. Honor Roll, Brayden Harpoo. Good job, Brayden. Happy as can be, I love it. A.B. Honor Roll, Reagan Harris. A.B. Honor Roll, Willie Harris. A.B. Honor Roll, Kaylee Harrison. A.B. Honor Roll, Lillian Hendricks. Science and our principal's Honor Roll, Mark Hobbs. The highest growth on our math inventory in all A's on a roll, Joseph Hogan. <laughs> A.B. on a roll, Ariane Holman. A.B. on a roll, Andrea Hope. A.B. Honor Roll, Trayden Hotchkiss. All A. Honor Roll, Travis T.J. Hubert. Our ELA Science and All A. Honor Roll, Emily Hunt. Sixth grade science and principal's honor roll, Blake Hunter. <laughs> A.B. honor roll, Malachi Hutcherson. All A. honor roll, Ava Ivy. A.B. honor roll, Devin Jackson. Principal's Honor Roll, Emily Johnson. A.B. Honor Roll, Rashad Johnson. A.B. Honor Roll, Jackson Jones.
Principal's Honor Roll, Riley Jones. Principal's Honor Roll, Emmanuel Kamara. ELA Honor Roll, or I'm sorry, AB Honor Roll, and our highest growth on our math inventory. I'm sorry, our AB Honor Roll and our ELA Award, Chloe King. <laughs> A Honor Roll, Garrett Knight. A honor roll, Jacob Kravanek. <laughs> Highest growth on our math inventory and AB honor roll, Emily Leo. <laughs> AB honor roll, Emma Ledford. All A honor roll, Ashlyn Lee. A B honor roll, Aiden Livingston. Principals honor roll, a Kylie Love. A.B. Honor Roll, Julia Lyons. A.B. Honor Roll, Ethan McNair. A.B. Honor Roll, Lissandro Velasquez, Maradiova. A.B. Honor Roll, Orrin Martin. A.B. Honor Roll, Alex Mathley. A.B. Honor Roll, Jeffrey Bugwa. A.B. Honor Roll, Josh McCall. A.B. Honor Roll, Caleb McDaniel. <laughs> Highest growth on our reading inventory and A.B. Honor Roll, Gabby Merrick. <laughs> A.B. Honor Roll, Genesis Meza. A.B. Honor Roll, Gabrielle Miles. A.B. Honor Roll, Lydia Morris. All A. Honor Roll, Chris Crystal Mangi. A.B. Honor Roll, Dennis Ndegwa. All A's Honor Roll, Patu Doi. A.B. Honor Roll, Jamari Nichols. A.B. Honor Roll, Egg Bay, Open No Fun Day. Egg Bay, how did I do on that one? Yeah, good? All right. AB Honor Roll, John Anyaguela. Can't go two for two, folks.
Our highest growth on our reading inventory in all A's on our own, Gracie Overton. A.B. on a roll, Mishler Perenzon. A.B. on a roll, Natalia Partida Camarano. Science Award, Ricardo Perez. Principal's Honor Roll, Mateo Pigo. A.B. Honor Roll, Dylan Pointer. Social Studies and A.B. Honor Roll, Bethany Poklembla. A.B. Honor Roll, Madison Pope. All A. Honor Roll, Ayana Cowie. Ayana Cowie. A.B. Honor Roll, Josh Rambo. Social Studies and All A's Honor Roll, Baron Rockcliffe. <laughs> Virtual Science and AB Honor Roll, Elijah Richards. <laughs> Social Studies and Principal's Honor Roll, Brindley Richardson. <laughs> ELA and AB Honor Roll, Tristan Rossio. <laughs> AB Honor Roll, Brianna Saab. A.B. Honor Roll, Alvi Sadiq. A.B. Honor Roll, Madden Sanchez. A.B. Honor Roll, Byron Sanders. A.B. Honor Roll, Willie Sanders. Sixth grade math, Axel Schoonover. Principal's Honor Roll, Aiden Schoonover. <laughs> All A Honor Roll, Jalen Shropshire. The highest growth on our reading inventory and AB honor roll, Ella Shire. <laughs> highest growth on our math inventory and a principal's honor roll, Henry Smith. <laughs> AB honor roll, Leah Smith. All A Honor Roll, Giovanna Soto. <laughs> AB Honor Roll, Madeline Spurl. <laughs> Principals Honor Roll, Emily Spurlock. <laughs> AB Honor Roll, Grayson Spurlock. <laughs> Principal's Honor Roll, Jeremy Stalins. <laughs> ELA Award, Liana 
Stalins. A.B. Honorable Hayden Stevens. A.B. Honorable Lady Stutzman. Principal's Honorable Matthew Sunbury. E.L.A. and All A Honorable Darren Tanner. A.B. Honorable Addison Taylor. <laughs> Highest growth on our reading inventory and A.B. Honorable Sarah Terry. <laughs> Principal's Honorable Serenity Thompson. A.B. Honorable Gabrielle Thompson Fields. A.B. Honorable V2. Science and All A. Honorable Anthony Torres. All A. Honorable Jake Traffenstead. All A Honorable Emily Tribbiani. <laughs> Sixth grade math and A B Honorable Picton Tribbiani. <laughs> Social studies and A B Honorable Kirsten Tuttle. Sixth grade virtual science, all A honor roll, and our virtual star student, Ivan Vargas. <laughs> Highest growth on our reading inventory, Brandon Vitello. <laughs> AB honor roll, Ashton Walker. Highest growth on our math inventory and AB honor roll, Camille Walker. <laughs> AB honor roll, Madison Walker. <laughs> Principal's honor roll, Mason Wall. A.B. Honorable Noah Webb. A.B. Honorable Kendall Weeks. A.B. Honorable Jalee White. All A. Honorable Morgan Wagner. A.B. Honor Roll, Aiden Williamson. <laughs> Highest growth on our math inventory and A.B. Honor Roll, Dixie Wills. <laughs> Social Studies and A.B. Honor Roll, Amberlyn Wilson. <laughs> Sixth grade ELA, all A's honor roll, and one of our star students, Caden Wilson. <laughs> Sixth grade ELA, AB honor roll, and another one of our star students, Logan Wright.
AB Honoro Adan Yakub. Math and Principles Honoro Jacob Zelaznik. Our Citizenship Award. <laughs> Mr. Robinson, come on up. These are your awards to give away. Great, you guys are doing great. I have a couple more awards that I need to give out. I'm gonna give out three citizenship awards. And the citizenship award, for that student to receive the award, they must continuously display positive character traits, take responsibility for his or her own learning, offer help and support to others when possible, show pride in East Poly Middle School, display and model acceptance of others, and display manners in social settings. The first student who will be receiving this award is a student who is always willing to help other students in need. She has a caring attitude for students who struggle and is often a peer helper in class. She assists without being asked and is mindful of, other, of the needs of others. She displays good character and models school pride. She participates in school activities and always has a positive attitude. And I believe Mr. Mad Ma Masterson thanked her earlier for always holding the door at the end of Car Rider Line, Ms. Evelyn Coffey. Our next citizenship award will go to a student who is such a positive peer leader by spreading a positive attitude towards classmates, school, and the community. She is welcoming to new students and helpful to her teachers. She never speaks negatively about others and she works extremely hard in class. She has goals set for herself and will definitely achieve them. She continually participates in school and or community service. Finally, she possesses the strength of character and the courage to always do what is right. Congratulations to Ms. Emily Spurlock. I move on to the next award. I've got a couple of uh, gift cards that I need to give out for students who um, place in the district for reflections. The first student that will receive the gift card is a student that placed third in, liter in literature. She will receive a $25 gift card, Miss Laura Frega. So next year when we have reflections contest, remember there's a cash prize connected to if you this if you win in district. So the next one will go to um, a first place in dance choreography, Mr. Baron Rockliffe. I forgot that our first place winners actually receive a $100 gift card. The next one is a first place in literature, Miss Vicki Vahima. And our last 
gift, our last Reflections winner this year was a first place in visual arts, Miss Emily Lill. We have just a couple more awards here. Our next award will be our Raider Award. And to receive our Raider Award, the student must demonstrate notable and a proven increase in skill and strategy knowledge, a large improvement in multiple classes during the year, observes social and emotional growth, and uses their knowledge to consistently improve. And I'll, honestly, this award could be better described as be, being someone who is resilient, who overcomes challenges, and finds a way to be successful no matter what those challenges are. Our first Raider Award will go to a student who is an extremely talented and conscientious student. She has a strong work ethic and will be successful in all aspects of her life. Our first Raider Award goes to Brooklyn Erringdale. Our next Raider Award will go to a student that has been an exceptionally hard worker this year to overcome and improve in multiple areas. She has a strong desire to do well and has improved in all areas of her academic and emotional growth. This Raider Award goes to Ms. Madison Grimes. And neither one of those two ladies were we're here, but we do have one final Raider Award. And it goes to a virtual student that has worked very diligently to stay focused and attentive to his work. Virtual learning can be difficult to organize and stay on top of the work, but this student has shown great strength to persevere through this academic year. Congratulations to Egby Obinofundi. And our final award today is the Principal's Award. This award goes to the best all around student, person, individual that has demonstrated the characteristics that our teachers are looking for in the model student. This student shows extensive academic learning success and great attendance. This student should display and use positive leadership skills among his or her peers, and they should maintain admirable behavior in all settings and have some known community school involvement. So the student that receives the principal's award this year for sixth grade is a student that excels in many areas, both inside and outside of school. In the classroom, this all-A student is always willing to help others. When this student sees someone in need, she offers assistance, whether it's a staff member or another student. She has an excellent work ethic, always completing assignments on time and striving for perfection. As a positive role model, she has a kind heart and is respectful to her classmates and teachers. Quietly leading by her actions is one of her strengths. Because of these qualities, she was also nominated and chosen to be on the Sources of Strength Committee this year. Outside of school, this student excels in golf. She is an extraordinary golfer, and she hopes to play on the high school team one day. She is a lover of art, nature, and pets and she is often found outside in the forest or by the creek, taking in the sounds and sights of nature. All of these traits prove that Carly Christ is worthy of the principal's award. So congratulations once again to all our award recipients, but most importantly, congratulations to all members of the 2021 and 2022 seventh grade class. 
When you step foot back in this building next year, you will be seventh graders. I am confident that the challenges you have overcome have prepared you for whatever comes your way next school year. During the sixth grade, you probably ran into some hard truths. You probably realized that you may have to study. You had to adjust to numeric grades. You had to adjust to changing classes and having six different teachers demand your best every day. You had to adjust to returning to a building for the first time since March that is new to you, with people that were new to you in an unfamiliar setting. You may have realized that middle school is actually tough. And if, that if you don't turn in that assignment, it can really hurt your grade. Don't forget those truths because those things don't change as you move forward. I don't want to scare you, but I want you to know that seventh grade will be even tougher. Our sixth grade teachers are experts at transitioning you from elementary school to middle school. Our seventh grade teachers are experts at preparing you for eighth grade. And they're going to do that by challenging you, supporting you, and holding you accountable, just like your sixth grade teacher teachers have done this past year. Seventh grade is difficult because you become the middle child of middle school. You will begin to figure out who you are. You will become more opinionated and less scared to express yourself or your opinions. You may grow apart from some friends and you may find some new ones who are more like you. You and your parents may struggle to get along at times, but please remember that every adult has experienced these same challenges. And if we can survive it and overcome it, so can you. I am proud of each and every one of you. I am proud of the work that you've put in this year. I'm proud of our teachers who have worked so hard to support you, both our PE and Connections teachers and our classroom teachers. You guys have overcome a lot, and you have done a phenomenal job of that. So congratulations to you guys. That will conclude our award ceremony. We are extremely proud of you guys. Congratulations.